Hi, I'm Joel Mulkey, founder and CEO of Big Leaf Networks. The world of business IT is in the middle of a massive shift right now. The cloud is taking over, and Office 365 is driving much of that. However, the connection between users and the cloud is preventing adoption in many cases. IT leaders are scared to deploy the great applications that folks like you are building. There are two main reasons for that. The first is the internet connection connecting to the cloud is unpredictable. Uh, we monitor thousands of internet connections all over, and based on that data, we see that each internet connection, on average, experiences three and a half hours of downtime in a given month. On top of that, if the connection is up, it's not necessarily healthy. You'll see 23 hours of unhealthy times where the circuit is basically unusable. The second major issue is that networks aren't keeping up with the cloud evolution. Users are able to bring apps into their environment at any time, and enterprise networks are built on static network policies. That's a collision where the network is just simply not able to adapt as users procure and deploy these applications. The cloud requires a new kind of network, a new kind of internet, one that's smarter. That's Big Leaf. Big Leaf has deployed software-defined wide area networking to hundreds of mutual business customers. Those are Microsoft customers who are getting the application experience the developers intended because the network is no longer in the way. Let me talk you through what this looks like. Big Leaf is built into the internet backbone, right in the core of the internet. We also own and operate our own core network. We deploy routers and servers and data centers all over. We peer that network with hundreds of different networks, including yours. We then deploy a small router at each customer location, and between those endpoints, we run our intelligent network software. This platform gives full visibility and control over the whole internet path, ensuring user applications get the experience that they should. Because we own and operate this network, we peer it with over 1,000 different cloud applications. This means no matter what the user is using, whether it's a Microsoft app or something else, they get a consistent experience that's what they were expecting. Now, I want to talk you through four areas that we're innovating in the network today. The first is ease. When you deploy network technology, it needs to be easy to implement. Otherwise, it won't be used. Big Leaf is very simple. Our router drops in in between the customer's firewall and their internet connections. That connects back to our core network, and that's it. We don't touch the LAN. We don't touch security. We simply focus on internet reliability and performance. The second area is reliability. Users are expecting a very real-time experience today. If you're on a key phone call and it drops or even is glitchy, people get upset. Or if you've got a video you're streaming and it pixelates, people wonder what's wrong with the application or what's wrong with the network. At Big Leaf, we address this through intelligent software that inspects each internet connection 10 times a second, gathering huge amounts of data on packet loss, latency, jitter, and capacity. We then take that data and make real-time routing decisions on it to keep the user experience great. You can think of it like a genius network engineer who has access to statistics on the whole internet path, end to end, and who never takes any restroom breaks, never takes a day off, and commits no errors. The third area is flexibility. The problem with networks built on static policies, like much of today's network technology, is that they don't adapt to the continual evolution in applications, where users are adding things constantly. At Big Leaf, we believe users shouldn't have to worry about how to make their network deal with new applications. So we use intelligent software that automatically identifies those applications through algorithms and heuristics and classifies them into six different categories. We then take that traffic end to end across the internet and prioritize it, even when it's congested. Our users get the best possible application experience without having to manually configure their network. The fourth area I want to touch on is autonomy. Autonomous software is very exciting. You all are here because of that. Uh, what we see in the networking space is it can be very applicable. It takes away the low-level details of managing how to implement the network and releases people to focus more on the outcome that they really want. When I look at autonomous software, I see that it tends to sit in this sweet spot, somewhere between full manual control and full automation. In network software and routing technology like what we do, you can automate it pretty heavily and have that be successful. That's because computers are better than humans at real-time network monitoring and routing decisions. And the scope of the problem is small enough that you can build autonomous software effectively to accomplish things. 
Networks built on autonomous software mean IT administrators are happy because their networks behave like they intended them to, even when conditions change, and users are happy because their applications work right all the time. Big Leaf customers are happy customers. We make their applications behave like they were intended. With our direct peering to Microsoft's network and our automatic classification of all types of cloud traffic, Big Leaf is the best way to connect to Office 365. If you want to learn more or talk about how we can work together, please see me in the back afterwards. Thank you. Thank you.